Hi, my name is Joe McCarthy. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Boston, Mass. I practice at Massachusetts General Hospital um, in Newton Wellesley, both of which are part of the Harvard um, University system. Um, <coughs> I've been practicing in Boston my entire career. So, you know, my training originally was in hip and knee reconstructive surgery with Bill Harris at Mass General in the early 80s. And um, so I've lived in Boston since that time, um, both in academics as well as in private practice. But currently I'm, I'm vice chairman of the orthopedic department at Mass General. So I do a lot of teaching, have been in for many years and uh, love teaching residents, students and fellows and um, have you know, had a great practice life there. It's a wonderful, wonderful place to practice. I did everything I possibly could to not become a doctor. My, my dad is, um, was a surgeon. He was called a rectal surgeon. And um, when I was growing up, I was trying to think of all the reasons why I wouldn't want to go into medicine. And um, so I, during school, I was kind of a scholar athlete. That was kind of my ambition. I, I had some aspirations of playing professional baseball, which is uh, in the United States. And so I played uh, varsity baseball and hockey in college and uh, at a division one school. And, um, but clearly something changed. And the time when it changed was um, during the summers in college, I, um, I had a job, it turned out, I lived about 100 miles from Boston, but my summer jobs were in Boston. And um, both of them, it turned out, were at hospitals, one at Children's Hospital, the other at the Beth Israel. And I did, you know, pretty basic jobs, one in, one in medical records, the other one in, in, um, as kind of an orderly in an intensive care unit. And um, to see how patients were cared for, to see what the impact of those things on people who um, were so desperately ill and sick and who needed uh, a lot of care and work was just so incredibly exciting and also um, just kind of ignited my passion for wanting to go into medicine. And um, at that time, I didn't really know whether I wanted to go into medicine or surgery, but with it became pretty readily apparent that if you had very good hand-eye coordination and you just had a lot of uh, judgment, in part from athletics, in part from just trying out things that um, that orthopedics was a phenomenal field to be able to do kind of all I really wanted to embrace, you know. Well, I think most importantly, my dad, um, and more because of his, um, his, his passion about what he was doing, even in a practice that was 50 years um, and raising seven kids, I'm the oldest of seven kids, um, in being able to stick with it, make patients the center of his focus in his professional life anyway, and to be able to do that in, at the end of his career, in his late 70s, he was every bit as passionate about it as he was when he was, you know, beginning many, many years before that. Um, and he, uh, that kind of passion, commitment, enjoyment, and, and and also patient-centered stuff really rubbed off, you know, and uh, I'm really grateful for that. I, I love what I'm doing. I, I, I truly do. I'm, at this point, you know, when you first start your practice, you, you, you're wondering whether you're going to get your next patient. But at some point in your practice, um, you have gotten to know patients quite well over a long period of time, and that is that is the thrill of doing medicine. It's not the bureaucracy, it's not all the politics, it's really the ability to see and meet and impact people over an extended period of time and, uh, and to really develop partnerships with them. That is so gratifying. Um, so that's certainly one thing that has kept me going. Second, I've always combined clinical research with patient care and also some basic science research and also innovation. And orthopedics is one of the few places 
that you can really combine all three of those in ways that c constantly grows. And I've done all of the above, both in arthro hip arthroscopy, but also in joint replacement surgery of the hip and knee. And, um, and it's it, incredibly fun to do that. And you meet some wonderful people and you have an impact on people to be able to make something better tomorrow than it was yesterday. And that is every bit as good today as it was, you know, a decade or two ago. Well, I, I following medical school, I actually did a medical internship and then a, a year in surgery. I mean, I wish I'd started orthopedics earlier, frankly. Um, secondly, I went from academics to private practice for a while and then back to academics. And I would like to perhaps have been able to, uh, although it was helpful, it, it I think I would have gotten a bit more done if I would have been able to stay in academics the entire time because there's the opportunity to do all three things. Um, and um, other than that, I don't have a lot of regrets. I think I've, I've been incredibly blessed for, um, for both my career and patient care. So I'm, I'm really grateful for that. I get excited, frankly, because it's not a field that automatically has all of the answers. There are more questions than there are answers. And um, some fields are more mature and have fixed answers for each problem. And you can, you know, do surgery to fix an ankle fracture, et cetera. But learning about hip disease is a huge opportunity and learning about this particular field of, of the hip is, um, is filled with, um, it's a little bit like being an astronaut when in the Alan Shepard being the first person going up in the, you know, in the rocket ship. You're not sure whether you're going to, what you're gonna see and whether you're gonna land and whether it's gonna be safe. You're never really quite sure, but that's the excitement. It's also the challenge and um, and it's a huge opportunity. So when somebody else has that level of interest and passion, it's, um, I get really excited. And I've trained a lot of guys who have now gone off and done a lot of arthroscopy, so they actually, you know, have actually done great work, you know. I think I, I would like to um, be said, no matter what the challenge, he always gave it his best.